Hey folks, Jorge Menaz here from Crossing South. Guess what, it's season 12, and what's coming to you right now is, we tour a factory in Tijuana that makes artificial limbs and prosthetics. We also learn about how Tijuana is such a special place for world-class manufacturing. People who have left the United States for various reasons are able to have a second chance by using their English-speaking skills in Mexico. We meet a group from the Middle East who have started a great Arabic restaurant. Their hospitality is incredible and the food they serve is simply epic. We get to check out a factory where they make amphibious airplanes. Did you know arm wrestling is a sport? Neither did we but we are going to meet a group of professionals and they give us tips on how it's done. We then take a visit to Gastro Cinema, which combines amazing food with a drive-in movie theater. We have some art coming your way on this future episode. We meet Robert Pace Kidd, a local artist who is also known as the Surfing Cowboy. Next, we go to Polo's Art Gallery, home to a variety of work by a group of local artists who show their stuff. Rosarito is considered by some to be the headquarters of all art, for Northwestern Mexico. We are going to get in touch with our inner artist. Unica Painting is a fascinating establishment dedicated not only to art classes, but to an enjoyable environment where you can sip your coffee, eat your finger food, and just de-stress from the treadmill of life. We also meet Chef Martin San Roman, who brings traditional French food to Tijuana, along with his original crepe cake. Machito Ruiz, who is a salsa dancer, brings his music and dancing to Tijuana. We learn some moves, and we get to see him in action at a live concert. We also learn how there's a lot of giving going on in Tijuana, 2,000 meals a day to be exact. Meet the loving people behind it all. We're gonna take a horse ride through the La Mision area between Rosarito and Ensenada. We also head out a bit off the beaten path to a restaurant called called Mariscos El Cata. This place really goes all out on some of their photogenic headline dishes. We meet a world traveling chef, Eduardo Salgado, who is putting a mod restaurant on the map. The dishes that he's preparing in Valle de Guadalupe will simply blow you away. We also visit another fantastic place, this one in Ensenada. It's called Ophelia's. Bluefin tuna was fantastic. The pudding pie was to die for. On this upcoming episode, we are finally able to visit Fauna. Chef David Castro has a focus on food like an Olympian has a focus on winning a gold medal. We get to meet falcons, lynx, cats, snakes, turtles, and more. We've got rescue animals on this upcoming episode. I think I was ready to become the Falconer. We also get to dine at a restaurant in the Valle de Guadalupe, but what makes this place so unique is that you can watch a polo game while you're eating. Not to mention, a flash flame dessert. We explore the most important wine event worldwide in Baja. Wine scientists from Europe explain about the chemistry and the vine fungus protection efforts. Universities show how they train students to make wine. We also check out a nice little winery called Rondo del Valle where part of the experience is tasting wine and chocolate truffles together while blindfolded. 13 episodes of Baja Travels will be coming to you soon.